Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been like forever since I made a video. So today I wanted to do a look um, inspired by my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick color, which is in Heathers. I love this color so much. If you're interested in how I got this look, just keep on watching. So starting with a clean face, I'm going to use my Benefit Cosmetics Poreless Primer. I love this stuff. It really does blur your pores and it makes your skin feel like silk. And then I'm using my NYX concealer in green just to help cover up this blemish I've got here because nobody likes that. And with one of my favorite foundations, Makeup Forever HD Stick, I'm going to use this today. And I'm going to spray my face with my setting spray before I apply the foundation. And then I'm going to spray my oval brush with my setting spray and then just blend that foundation into my skin. And I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I love this stuff. It is amazing. It really, really helps with um, dark under eye circles and it's just a great concealer all around. And of course, I'm going to use that same concealer to highlight my face. I'm going to do that right on the top of my forehead there, bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and on my chin. And then using my beauty blender, I'm going to spray that with my setting spray again and then I'm just gonna blend in that concealer. I'm watching New Girl and cracking up because I love that show so much. And then with my RCMA palette, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this to um, contour my face. This palette is really nice. It's a foundation palette, um, but I also use it to conceal as well. It's a, got a really great creamy consistency, um, and you can, of course, um, use it as a foundation. That's what it's for. And just using that blend, beauty blender again, I'm going to blend that out. And then using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, I'm going to set... Um, under my eyes and then anywhere that I put that concealer. And then um, I'm going to do my eyebrows next, so I'm just going to remove that um, extra powder. This is the MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I use this as my eyeshadow primer. I really love this stuff. It honestly helps your eyeshadow stay all day. And then using Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, I'm going to use this as my transition shade, and I'm just using um, my... This is probably one of my favorite um, blending brushes from Morphe. It's the E22 brush. It is great. Um, it's fluffy, but it's got a little firmness to it, so you do have some control of where you're putting that eyeshadow, but I love this brush. And then using Bitten by Makeup Geek, I'm going to use this. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you guys are not watching New Girl, you need to get on it because that show cracks me up, and it's on Netflix, so you can watch it all the time. You can binge watch it if you want. But I'm just using um, another another Morphe brush here. I believe it's the it's either my other E22 brush or it's my uh, G13 brush. I can't remember. But I'm just blending that color in. And then I'm going to take this licorice color from my Too Faced and my Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm going to apply that to my lid and slowly kind of work it up into the crease. You really do want to take the time to blend this out. Um, that way you don't have like a harsh line between the black and that bitten color. So if you need to just kind of keep applying a little bit more black to get your dark um, color that you want, just keep on doing it. It's easier to add more than to take it away. So just take your time. And I'm using another um, clean blending brush here just to blend that, um, blend that in a little bit better with that bitten color. And I was going to do false lashes, but for some reason they just weren't working for me today. So I actually ended up putting mascara on twice. But, you know, stuff happens. And then I'm just going to wipe away that excess um, right underneath my eye so I can add some shadow underneath my eye. 
and I'm going to go in with Bitten and I'm just going to use a smudger brush here. I, I think I got this brush from one of my Ipsy bags, so I don't know. Um, I guess I can look at the name of it. Um, but yeah, it was in my Ipsy bag, Vera Mona. So yeah, whatever smudger brush you have will work for this. And then using um, just this really small tapered brush, I'm going to go in with um, a little bit of the licorice color just to darken up that um, lash line. And then I'm just removing the rest of my translucent powder. And then I am using the um, Benefit Hula bronzer. I love this bronzer. I use it all the freaking time. It's almost all gone. And I'm taking that with my buffing brush um, by Real Techniques and applying it to my forehead as well. Ladies, if you got a big forehead like me, do this, okay? I really feel like it helps, especially in pictures. Own it, love it. You got a big forehead, you got a big forehead. And then I'm gonna take a small brush. I don't know what this brush is. I think it's an Eco Tools. Um, pretty sure it's an eyeshadow brush, but anyway. Using this to just kind of snatch my nose, making my nose just look a little bit thinner. On the sides there and just on the tip of my nose, I'm applying that Hoola bronzer again. And then my favorite, Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. This is my favorite highlighter. And I'm just spraying one of my fluffy uh, blending brushes from Morphe, the M504 brush with some setting powder. And then just using that to apply my highlight so it just is a little bit more dramatic when you use that setting spray. And then I'm applying it to the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And then on my cupid's bow as well. I'm just taking a flat brush here to apply that to my cupid's bow. I love putting highlighter here. I think it looks so good, especially when you have dark makeup or dark lipstick on. It looks really great. And then I'm applying that um, champagne pop in my inner corners and right in the corner of my lash line right there just to kind of brighten me up a little bit. And then I'm using my blush. This is Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dior. I love this brush. And I'm applying it using my Real Techniques um, blush brush. I love this brush so much. So, so much. And then I'm using uh, mascara down on my bottom lash line just to darken it up. I almost always put mascara on my bottom lash line. And I'm just using L'Oreal um, Voluminous Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. And then this is the liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Heathers. I love this stuff. And I just, I'm really careful about applying it because really like once you've got it down, it's kind of hard to get it off without messing up the rest of your makeup. So take your time. And there is your finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it.